What's up guys, Hong Nguyen in here for OG Fitness and today I want to talk to you guys about the importance of cardiovascular fitness. So before I get started, please take a second to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would help me out a lot and it would help grow the channel. So let's dive into it. <clears throat> now the reason why I'm making this video is because recently um, I noticed that on YouTube a lot of fitness YouTubers are having heart problems, right? So I'll give you an example. C.T. Fletcher recently had a, um, a heart transplant. So that's one. Uh, a second person that I, he died back in 2017, uh, I think sometime last year, but the Rich Piana, and he was a really big uh, fitness YouTuber as well. And he died of heart disease, right? Heart failure. And a couple of years ago, if you guys remember, Arnold Schwarzenegger um, had to have heart surgery. So that got me thinking and I looked it up. And here's the thing with these three guys. They all have two things in common. The first thing is that they all took steroids. Okay. And the second thing is that they're all, they all have a lot of muscle. Okay. So these guys are jacked. Now, the thing with, uh, with steroid use is that it does affect your heart. It causes heart problems, heart complications. So over time, okay, well, your heart like fails. It, uh, then you end up having to have surgery or um, you die, unfortunately. And so that's the thing, uh, if you use steroids, you have to be really aware of the fact that like aside from the side effects that we everybody knows about, you know, roid rage, uh, excessive acne, uh, erectile dysfunction, low sperm count, and then, you know, all of that shit. I mean, there's, there's the heart issue too. So if you take steroids, it's gonna fuck up your heart, okay? Your heart is essentially gonna become weaker and then over time, there's complications uh, because of it becoming weaker. Like there's other complications that um, that come along with that, you know, or come before that, whatever, you know. But that's it. So it fucks up your heart. And then the thing you gotta realize is that your heart is the most important um, organ in your body. It's what keeps everything going, okay? Because essentially, what it is is that it's a pump, guys. So. To, I'm gonna give you a summary of what the heart actually does. It's a pump, and what's it pumping? Well, it's pumping your blood, okay? So your, your blood travels through your veins towards your heart, okay? And the blood that's coursing through your veins towards your heart, okay, is deoxygenated, and it also has waste, okay? And then after that, when it gets to your heart, your heart pumps it out to your lungs, and through your respiratory system, when you breathe in, you're reoxygenating your blood, okay? And then when you breathe out, you're, 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 take, you're getting rid of waste, okay? That's one thing that it does. So once your, your blood is reoxygenated, okay, your lungs will, the blood in your lungs will go back to your heart and then your heart will pump all of that oxygenated blood, okay? like through your arteries to all your, uh, to the rest of your body so that it could feed your body. So it's really important. I mean, your heart is something that it starts when you're born and then it stops when you die and it never stops working. Okay. So heart, like cardiovascular fitness is actually more important. Okay. Um, than muscular fitness. So being big and being jacked, looking good, that's all good, but you have to make sure that you train your cardiovascular fitness. Okay, so to do that, obviously you have to exercise with air. So you, yes, you have to do cardio. And um, you know, with all that muscle and everything, okay, I mean, you have to have the heart to, um, to, be, to, be able, to be able to sustain all of that. You know, it has to, like, you have to upgrade um, your heart okay as you operate the exterior too okay now here's the thing with uh, being too fucking jacked and this is really interesting and I think this is a, this is gonna maybe change your perception 
on if you you know on on gains you know because we're really focused on gains these days so, but here's the thing the bigger you are the faster you die okay i'm like i'm talking about muscle mass so the more muscle you have okay uh you'll you're trading basically performance for longevity so if you're perform because usually when guys want to get big okay it's because uh you know for their sport or you know for bodybuilding or whatever so you're trading performance but this is longevity this is performance so your performance goes up and your longevity goes down because you're gonna die and uh you're gonna die faster and you're gonna die well you know faster meaning younger okay so the reason for this is because when guys get big and jacked, okay, usually what they're doing is they're consuming an excessive, excessive amount of protein. So what does that do to your body? Well, it promotes this, uh, this growth hormone called IGF-1, right? IGF-1 is, uh, stands for insulin-like growth factor. Now, this might be good for muscle building, right? But the problem is if you have cancer cells, they grow as well. <laughs> so, so basically, having a lot of muscle and consuming a lot of animal protein, okay, it's mostly animal protein. I think you could, um, I'm not sure, but I think you could get away with it if you're more uh, uh, vegan-based, uh, you know, proteins that come from, uh, from plant sources, okay? But animal protein, that's what it does. It's, um, you consume too much of that, so you promote IGF-1, you end up getting cancer, and you die faster, okay? Now, here's the thing too, guys who take steroids are able to take, um, and have to take a lot more protein. Their, their body is able to synthesize it uh, at, a, at a much faster rate because they're on steroids. When you take steroids, it changes everything. So then you're taking a fuck ton of protein and shit, and then so you're promoting cancer, plus you're having um, like a whole bunch of complications with your heart. And all of that together, well, it's, it's a recipe for disaster. So I'll put a link down below um, by doctor, for, to videos, uh, to a video of a, of a doctor, Dr. Joel Furman, and he specializes in, um, in nutrition. And he talks about this a lot, the trade-off between, um, you know, consuming too much protein, becoming too big, IGF-1, and how essentially you could get all of this from, uh, from a plant-based diet. Like he doesn't really push a plant-based diet, he pushes more a nutrient-based diet. But nutrients, uh, so he wants you to eat more foods that are, uh, that have a lot of nutri nutrients, okay? Um, and not focus too much on the macros, which is uh, protein, um, uh, fat, and carbs, okay? Because that's what all, most fat diets, that's what it's all about, okay? So now, I want to give you guys two little uh, ways that you can tell how, how healthy your heart is, okay? So you could check it and then uh, you could just go on the internet, Google the, um, uh, the charts regarding these two key points here, and then from there you can figure it out yourself. So one thing that you could check is your resting heart rate. This, this is the first thing that you need, okay? So the way you check this is that as soon as you wake up in the morning while you're still lying in bed, you take your your heart rate okay so you you take it for so you have to take the uh, to do it correctly though um, you have to you have, you have to be in your bed and you take it for 10 seconds so what I do is I just uh, grab the pulse here all right uh, the, the uh, carotid okay and basically the first beat counts as zero okay and so you put the timer on for 10 seconds okay and then as soon as you get to 10 seconds, you stop. But you have your timer there, and uh, you time it for 10 seconds, and the first beat is zero, then it's one, then it's two, and so on. And then from there, you, you take the, uh, the, uh, the, the number that you get. So in my case, I got eight, right? And since we timed it for 10 seconds, you multiply eight times six, because you want 60 seconds worth. You want a minute, okay? So that'll give you your beats per minute, your resting heart rate, beats per minute. So now, if you're the standard person has a, a, a resting heart rate of about between 60 and uh, 100 beats per minute. That's like standard, normal, you know? Um, now, if uh, where you want to get to to be really healthy is 50, okay? Around 50, you're, you're really healthy, 
okay and anything below that like anywhere between 40 and 50 well you're 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 a highly conditioned athlete so that's one thing okay your your resting heart rate and then the other thing is uh, you to, to see how healthy your heart is is you you want to see how fast your heart recuperates when you're doing uh, uh, intensive um, exercise so to do that, first you have to measure your maximum heart rate. So there's this formula called Carvonin um, uh, formula. So this this formula requires you to uh, to know your resting heart rate, which I just told you how to how to do. And so after that, you plug in the numbers there, and then it'll give you your maximum heart rate. Okay, this takes into consideration, uh, you know, uh, your age, your resting heart rate, and blah 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 blah. So. What you do is that you, you figure out what's your maximum heart rate using this formula, okay? And once you have that, okay, well, you, you exercise uh, super intense, you go hard, okay? You try to get to your maximum, so try, try sprinting like crazy. And then from there, you wait one minute, okay? Give yourself one minute before you start checking your, uh, your, your pulse, okay? To count um, how many... Um, to, to see what it is. So then what, then what you do is that you compare your um, your maximum heart rate, okay, that you got from the Carbonin formula, and then your your uh, your heart rate a minute after you did that intense uh, sprint, for example. So now if your uh, if your if your heart rate dropped like 20, okay, like 20 beats per minute from your maximum heart rate, then that's normal. Okay, if you drop uh, and highly trained athletes, they could go down to 50 beats per minute. In one minute, they could drop 50 beats, okay, per minute. So, and and here's here's an indicator. Here's another indicator for you is that if you drop only 12, your heart is in bad fucking shape. Okay, so those are the two things: your resting heart rate, okay, and then. With your resting heart rate, you use that to calculate your maximum heart rate. So just type it into Google. It's called the Carbonin uh, formula, okay? Carbonin, so K-A-R-V-O, uh, and anyways, just type it in, Google will figure it out for you, but Carbonin formula. And then so you from there you figure out your maximum heart rate, and then from there you do that test when you get a chance, and um, so you do your super intensive exercise, you get your heart rate, like you know, your lungs are about to explode and you can't go anymore. I suggest sprinting like a, like a madman for as long and as hard as possible. And then after that, boom, take the timer, wait one minute, okay? And then start checking your heart rate. Remember, the first beat is zero, okay? And you do that for 10 seconds, okay? So you put the timer, 10 seconds, you count it, bang, 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 you multiply by six. And then from there, well, you take that number, Okay, and then um, you, you take that number and you, you subtract it from your maximum heart rate to see the difference. So remember, if it's uh, 20, uh, if it drops 20 beats per minute, then you're, uh, you're, at, you're normal, right? If it drops something like 12, it means you're, you're not in good shape. And, you know, if it drops, the more it drops, the healthier you are. But 20 is standard, 12 is really fucking bad. So those two things there uh, to, to see where your heart... Um, uh, you, like the fitness, of your cardiovascular fitness is at, okay? And I think it's important to, 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 to really uh, take the time to, to do this, to figure it out. And if it's good, then keep doing what you're doing, you know, or, you know, you can get better if you want. But if it sucks, okay, then you should really work on getting your, your cardiovascular fitness uh, up because, I mean, it's not just... It's more, it's more important than just how you look physically. Like, yes, you want to look good physically, all right? Uh, you'll feel better, you have better body composition, so you don't, you don't have a lot of fat, you don't have, uh, you have more muscle mass, and so you'll look good, but you want to live long too, and you want to feel good, you want to have that energy, okay? So that's why you have to take, you have to do your, your cardiovascular um, uh, exercises, workout, workout with a lot of air, you know, do a lot of interval training and stuff like that, go high intensity, hit shit, right? So do that, take care of your heart, live longer, be healthier so that you can, uh, you know, you don't want to be one of those guys where you're fucking jacked and yeah, I'm good, and then you die at fucking 50, 50 years old, like a bitch, you know? 
okay well i don't i don't mean that um yeah i kind of do mean that i mean it's uh it, basically what it means is that you you fucked up right like uh if you if you take care of the outside and you don't take care of the inside which is actually more important um then hey you, you did fucked up and you'll die and or you'll have a lot of problems you have to go have surgery and shit and i'm sure nobody here uh wants that so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I'll put a link down below to the video of uh, Dr. Joel Furman where he talks about the IGF-1, uh, the, the trade-off between performance and, and uh, longevity. And also, he wrote a book called The End of Dieting, which is super interesting. I won't get into it now uh, in this video because this video is already running 15 minutes, but I'll put a link down below and I'll make another video soon about that book uh, that's super, super interesting. And uh, that's it for today, guys. I hope that helps. So please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.